guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to talk about all the books that i got in chicago partner and i have been back from chicago now for probably about two full days and we went to some bookstores when we were there that's kind of like our hobby anywhere that we travel to see if we can find and check out the local bookstore truly vlog i do have some clips from my instagram stories that i will kind of talk about at the end so if you're interested in hearing about anything to do in chicago or anything to see that'll be at the end of the video well we went to about four bookstores and i think i got six books my limit for this trip was eight um when i go out of town i allow myself to enjoy and get books that's like what i like to buy so i got six this bookstore that we went to was called unabridged i think it is in like the north shore lakeview neighborhood area of chicago um, that one was my favorite. I just, it was just like the classic local bookstore. I wouldn't say that it was cozy. It was huge. Um, from the front looking in, it didn't look like it would be that big, but they had a basement full of books and it spread out on either side. So got this tote bag from them. Um, and this is kind of like their frequent purchaser. Like this is what they have for people who would frequently visit. Um, I would love to be able to do that, but so if you get a tote bag from them, um, every single time that you bring it in and you wear this, and when I bought it, you get, I think it's either 10 to 15% off your, all the books that you get, so I thought that was great, and I really wanted a new bookstore tote bag. I got one from The Strand last year, and I pretty much carry that bag all the way until, like, Christmas time, so I will be carrying this as well and this is really big as well and this was $15 so I thought it was worth it. This book that I got is Someone Who Will Love You in All Your Damaged Glory by Bob Waxberg. He is the creator of Bojack Horseman which I think is like a show. I've seen that show but this is a collection of short stories that kind of revolve around love and relationships and i have seen this all over bookstagram i didn't realize that it was like about truly like love and relationships but um that says that it is written with all the scathing dark humor that is a hallmark of bojack horseman Raphael bob wakesburg delivers a fabulously offbeat collection of short stories about love the best and worst thing in the universe so Pick this one up. Next book that I got is The Secret History by Donna Tart. Yes, Donna Tart. And um I didn't even know what this is about. I just see that the girls be annotating this up, like eating this book up and down. Um, and it is about a like I guess it's kind of like that dark academia um college students that are like Kind of involved in like a, a group outside of class and they are like really into literature but it's thick and i think maybe it delves more into their relationships i'm not actually sure what the story is but it says um but when they go beyond the boundaries of normal morality they slip gradually from the obsession to corruption and betrayal and at last horribly into evil so this is interesting. I find those dark academia books so interesting because I literally just went to class and I went home. Like I went to class, I would get me some Chick-fil-A and then I would go to the library and then I would go home or back to my apartment. So I always think it's so interesting when they have like the clubs and the outside stuff because that, I was not that girl in college. <laughs> the next book that I got and I think the one that I am most excited for is Breast and Eggs by Miko Kawakami. I know that this is about three women. I don't know if they're sisters or if they're friends but it kind of revolves around that that um, women relationships and as they grow older. I'm not sure if this is a translated work um but it is based in tokyo and it kind of just follows the lives of three women as a kind of mature grow older loneliness um i think it even has something to do with fertility it's not written on the back in the synopsis but i'm sh pretty sure that i've read or saw that someone said that it was you know explicitly about um pregnancy or just the female reproductive system kind of not doing what you would hope that it would do so interested in this the book that i got from underbridge is milk fed by melissa broder um this follows a main character who is 
kind of eating restrictively or she is calorie counting and her therapist suggests that she I think either gets a job or just finds female friends I think she gets a job and meets a, f a female friend um, and she really admires or is fascinated by the way that this female friend treats her body and sees food they're both Jewish women so that's gonna be really interesting because I don't think I have read a book that follows Judaism in just like this way it's always been more like a historical way so that's gonna be really neat and yeah so it looks like I have a lot of books that are following just connections in general human connection book that I have is this is how you lose her by Hugh Not Diaz I got this at semicolon it is a black owned and black woman owned bookstore um, I think this is in the Wicker Park neighborhood, so it's a little bit farther out from like downtown Chicago, but I actually really love that neighborhood. Smaller selection of books, but the books that they do have are very interesting and everything is curated really well. Amazing booksellers, the customer service was outstanding and they had a coffee bar. I'm not sure if it was open, um, but it was just an amazing, amazing experience when you walk in. Everybody greets you. Um, it was just amazing. Like. It, it was a big open space. It is also a gallery, so there's a lot of art and you can tell that the time and the effort that they put in is really apparent with how the bookstore looks and it was just a great experience. All the staff was very open and friendly, talking to you, um, kind of recommending you books if you're not really sure what you're looking for. So I would definitely recommend going to Semicolon if you are in Chicago. The last book that I have is Night Crawling by Layla Motley. I got this at Exile in Bookville. Um, that bookstore is closer to the parks area um, in Chicago. This is about a young girl who is kind of struggling to take care of her family, um, which I think is her brother, who is an aspiring rapper, and then a 10-year-old uh, boy that she is just taking care of because his mother is just sort of absent and so she kind of gets drawn into the nightlife scene um, in Oakland and the story goes from there. I've heard really good things about this book. I think this is like pretty new of a release, like maybe within the past couple of weeks. Um, and then I've heard that it is just very raw because of the age of the author. I think she is 19 or 20. Um, and that the book is written in such a way that it is so raw due to her age. So I'm really excited to read this one and I love this bright orange cover. We also went into Myopic Books, which was also in Wicker Park. That bookstore is a little bit older and they sell mostly used books. I didn't get anything from there, but um, it was really big. I think it's like three stories. We also went into Afterwards, that is a bookstore that is closer to downtown. That was really big as well. They had a huge basement. I think that was actually where most of the books were and they had an open kind of um, storytelling space as well. So that was really neat. Some other things that we did, um, we went to a Cubs game. The weather is really nice and that was fun. That's a good way to kind of spend a few hours of your day, um, especially if you're a fan, if you're a baseball fan. The things that we did was um, a architecture tour. They go through the Chicago River um, and they're all day long, but we went at 8.15, which is like the perfect time during the summer because we got to see the sunrise and also um, the city at night. We are not like night life kind of people, so we didn't, we wouldn't see it at night. Otherwise, was we pretty much were in the hotel by like 10. Um, but it was really interesting, even if you're not even interested in architecture, just the the lights in the city on its own, I think it's worth it. But if you like history at all, if you just like facts, I thought it was so neat. You got to learn a lot about the buildings and the architecture. Chicago had a lot of like unique structures. Um, and to learn the backstory of that was really neat. It's also really comfortable as well. You're on like a huge boat. You don't even realize you're on a boat. It's not rocky um, at all. There's tons of seating. So that was really enjoyable. Our favorite thing that we did was we rode bikes down Lake Michigan Avenue, I think, or something like that. Um, and we just use city bikes. They're called like, I don't know what they're called, but they're like blue. Some of them are black. There's tons of like places you can park your bike all over the city. And I think it's like 39 cents a minute or something like that. Um, and so 
we rode we did it twice we rode for like 30 minutes down like lake michigan um and that was like came out to like 12 dollars, and then we did it again around grant park the next day and that was so fun such a unique way to see the city um and it was just so convenient we also went to portillo's um my boyfriend it went to school in chicago so he kind of has more experience with it but um they have a really delicious cake shake where they have like a slice of cake and they mix it with ice cream and it's so good we got one every single night and then we went to navy pier um and they have all like a bunch of stuff like food you know attractions popcorn like all the good stuff so i really recommend doing that everything is nice right now because the weather is favorable i know it can get really cold in chicago so yeah if you're not from someplace where it gets cold and you're not used to that i would try and go like now <laughs> probably now or um before it gets cold again but yeah we really liked it and enjoyed it we had a great time i think unabridged is like top three bookstores for me now it just was exactly everything that i love in a bookstore i almost forgot we went to the starbucks roastery reserve um that was fun i had a really good like hazelnut pastry i will say that the line is long um and it is long like all day our hotel was like right across the street from it so we got there they opened at eight i think we got there at like 8 30 or 9 and there wasn't a line but every single time we walked past it there was a line every single day so i don't know if it's worth waiting in line for um and it's also not like where you can go and like get like a frappe or something like that like maybe you can when we were there like people were trying to order what they would have normally ordered from starbucks i think like frappuccinos and stuff like that and they were saying that they don't have that they have a special menu so i would say that if you're going there for that i'm not sure if you will be able to like have that experience of like drinking your favorite drink there i don't know if they serve like standard menu items i would also say that um like the days that you go we got there on a thursday and we left on sunday morning um thursday and friday was like not busy at all and the weather was like perfect those days on saturday it was so busy um i would say that where we were we were downtown i would say it's not like new york like new york as far as the tourist areas go is always busy every day of the week but we didn't notice it busy at all until like saturday or yeah it was saturday so if you can get there during the week or something take a day off <laughs> on thursday or friday i think that would cut down a lot on just the amount of people um and like what you can do because some of the lines are just like crazy crazy um down the block but yeah we had a great time we can't wait to go again love always seeing new local bookstores thank you guys so much for watching bye